how to set up and use Brother Email Print. Open a web browser and enter your Brother Machine's IP address in order to access its internal web server. If you see a button labelled Open Secure Login, please click it. This might send you to a security warning message. If it does, find and click the button or link similar to this one. This will reveal another button or link that you will need to click in order to continue setting up email print. Despite any surrounding warning messages encouraging you not to continue, clicking it to access a brother machine is completely safe. Technically, what you are doing here is connecting to your machine's web server in a more secure way using something called HTTPS. Doing this will send you back to your brother machine's internal admin page where you will need to type in its admin password and click the login button. From the navigation menu, click the online functions button. Then click the online functions settings button. Before you can proceed, you will need to accept our terms and conditions by clicking this button. If you would like to review these terms and conditions, they can be found at this address. Once you accept them, another tab or window will open, which will reveal this message. When you see it, you will need to physically go to your brother machine and press the OK button. Pressing the OK button will redirect this web page to an online Brother Web Connect site, which is required to complete the rest of the setup. From its navigation menu, click the General Settings button, directly under the Email Print option. Then click the Enable button. Your Brother Machine's unique email address will now show. This is the address that you and other end users will need to send email attachments to in order for your Brother Machine to automatically print them. If you want to change it, click the Change Email Address button. Next, click the Print Settings button. From here, you can configure your Brother Machine to print both the email attachment and the email itself by selecting this option. In this example, I only want to print the email attachment and will unselect it. Next, you will find a small variety of print settings for both documents and images. Make whatever changes you need, then click the green button at the bottom of the page to save them. The email print function also has a security feature to stop unauthorised people from using it. To set this up, click the Restrict Access button. Then select the Enable Restrict Access tick box. Optionally, if you want to be notified when your print jobs have been printed, select this tick box as well. I will show you what one of these emails looks like later. From here, this is where you can add email addresses that your brother machine will accept. To add one, click the Add Email Address slash Domain button and type either a full email address or a domain name for a group of emails into this box. In this example, my brother machine will print attachments from any email address that ends in at brother.co.uk. Attachments sent from any other emails will be rejected. To add more, click the add email address slash domain button. When you are ready, click the save changes button. 
you can now close the Web Connect tab. The email print status should now be enabled. To go back to the email print settings page, click here. Now the email print is active, I will now show you how to use it. Create a new email. In this example, I'm using Microsoft Outlook, but you can use any application that is able to send email attachments. Type your brother machine's email address, which you will have seen during the initial setup process. Attach the required document or image that you want to print. Here is a list of the supported file types. I've also written these in the description. Please note that you can send up to 10 attachments from the same email, as long as their combined size does not exceed 20 megabytes. The 20 megabyte limit also applies when sending only one attachment. When you are ready, click the send button. Note that I was able to leave the subject bar empty, as well as the email body. Shortly afterwards, the attachment will start printing. During the setup process, if you enabled notifications, you will also receive an email like this once your jobs have been printed. If there was a problem, however, and the jobs could not be printed, you will receive one of the following emails instead, explaining the likely problem. Did you know that Brother Machines have two other ways to print email attachments? We have a function called Attach Email and Print. This function does not automatically release email attachments to be printed, like the function you have just seen. Instead, your brother machine holds on to them until you tell it to print them. This is ideal for shared environments because it prevents other users, visitors, contractors, etc who are passing by the printer before you do from collecting them. The other way to print email attachments is by using Cloud Secure Print. In order to release your print jobs, this function requires you to enter a PIN that only you know. This is ideal when printing sensitive information in shared environments. For more information about how to set up and use these two functions, links can be found in the description. Please note that they might not be available in every country. Thank you.